get ready with me to go to my lip filler appointment. I haven't actually had my lips done in quite a while. I'm still quite happy with the kind of volume, but the shape of my cupid's bow has gone a bit. So I think we're just going to put half a mil in there just to even it out. I actually had my Botox done a week ago today, so last Friday, and it's already starting to work. The lines are starting to disappear here, but it was when I was in there, I just decided, you know what, let's just fix my lips while we're at it. I've just had a really long shower, did my full body scrub, body serum and everything, so feeling good. I'm not sure what to do with my hair. I had it straight recently, so I might go for curls. I think I've got an hour to need to leave, so I've probably got time for curls. I absolutely swear by my Dyson Airwrap. If I'm gonna do curls, I just blast it with the normal attachment until it's like 80% dry. And then I use the thick barrels just to get the curls in. And then I always have these clips at the ready to pin them all. And then I just leave all the curls in while I finish my makeup and stuff just so they can set for a bit. That's my curls all in. Some of the clips are coming out already, but that's fine. I just blast it with hairspray just to let it hold. I'm quite lucky my hair is naturally curly so it will hold a curl but I definitely think clipping them and adding the hairspray just makes it last a wee bit longer. I don't want much makeup on today because I'm literally only going out of the house to get my lips done. I obviously don't want to look too pale. I'm really really pleased with my skin at the moment. I've been working really hard on it but I am I don't know kind of grey and pale washed out looking so I think I'm just going to add some moisturiser and some coverage drops just to kind of give myself a little bit of colour so I don't scare everyone when I'm out. Just dotted some Charlotte Tilbury magic cream on my face. I swear this is one product I could not live without. Some people think it's overrated and overpriced but for me I literally use it every single day. I'm just going to add some of these drops from Decipher. They're the custom ones that they sent me and you can mix it with your uh, moisturizers or serums just to give yourself a little bit of color without going in for full-on foundation as you can see it just gives the skin a really nice glow a little bit of color just makes me look a bit healthier i'm gonna add some concealer i always put it on the back of my hands because if i put it straight on my face i always end up using far too much so i have a tiny bruise up here from where I had my Botox last week and it's the tiniest bruise and I usually bruise really, really, like really, really easily. So this is actually quite good for me. I always feel like my nose needs a little bit more coverage and my chin. So I'm going to brighten under my eyes slightly. I'm going to use my new Huda Beauty duo. Now I cannot believe I got sent PR from Huda Beauty. It still feels a little bit surreal. I, honestly, one of the brands that I've just followed for ages. I think I have every eyeshadow palette they do. So this was just a dream come true. So I've got the Colour Corrector and the Easy Bake and they are both in Cherry Blossom and I absolutely love the pinky tones for under your eyes. It just really, really lifts it. I only use a tiny amount and I have never claimed to be good at makeup. I literally wing it and make it up as I go along. I should probably watch tutorials and things and try to learn but just make it up as I go along and it seems to be going okay but if I'm doing things wrong then feel free to tell me because I'm always happy to learn. I would normally use my beauty blender for under my eyes but it's really really dirty and I haven't had time to clean it. So that on its own definitely hides the dark circles but obviously making it is the final step. Just found a clean beauty blender which is good timing. Now I found I don't actually need that much of this. I don't like to put like hundreds on and brush it off later. I just like enough to to fix it and brighten. It's a really low makeup day, like I said, so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of bronzer on just to brighten my cheeks up a bit. I really, really hate looking this pale. I'm actually going to Spain in eight days over to see my family, so I'm hoping I'll get a bit of colour there and not look quite so pale. I'm just gonna use the exact same bronzer in the crease of my eye. Just to make it pop a little bit. Just realised how awful my eyebrows are. They so badly need done. I actually was booked in to get them done a few weeks ago and I couldn't make it because I had to get to the doctors. So I'm gonna need to get that sorted before I go to Spain. Speaking of eyebrows, I got this new brow glue from NYX. I actually really like it. It kind of feels like the Benefit Give Me Brow, but it kind of holds it more. So that's good for me, just for a really, really quick getting ready day that's all I'm gonna do is just brush them up it just gives them a bit of a tint and holds them in place I'm going to add a tiny bit more color to my cheeks this palette I absolutely love it is like bronzer blusher and highlight all in one 
I got it at Alicante Airport, I think. Yeah, it was uh, maybe a couple of years ago. And I've still got hundreds left and I, I use it nearly every day. And I do it on my cheeks and then I just do the kind of number three. And a tiny bit on my nose. It just gives you a bit of a glow and it's really quick because it's like a three in one. I sometimes use this on my eyes as well, actually, if I've only got one thing with me. So this is the setting powder from Refi and this product can do no wrong. I'm on my third one, I think, fourth, third. And it's just the best for getting rid of any shine that you don't want. So now I'm gonna have to find the beauty blender again. So this powder just takes away every bit of shine that you want, but it doesn't dry out your skin. I don't know how they do it. It actually almost feels damp when it goes on. I don't know if that's possible, but it definitely gets rid of any shiny bits. And I find it's really good if you're going out and you're gonna be getting photos taken and you don't want that kind of sweaty, shiny glow on your forehead. It literally lasts all night long. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of the Refi highlighter now. This is so pigmented. I always put it on my hand because when I first used it, I looked ridiculous. I, <laughs> I just had so much. But you literally need the tiniest amount. A little goes such a long way. Just look at that shine. It's absolutely stunning. And a little bit under my eyebrows, try and pretend that they're not looking as bad as they are. I'm gonna finish with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I've only had this since Christmas. I got one for me and one for Sophia and it's brilliant. She's nearly finished hers. I don't know how. I think she's using far too much, but it definitely keeps the makeup set. It does take a while to dry. Um, so if you're in a rush, it's maybe not the best choice, but overall I quite like it. Finally, my favorite mascara. This is the Le Bouton Beauty one and it is so expensive. This is I've been trying to make this last for as long as I can. I've actually got a new one here that Kenny got me for Christmas, but I'm trying to hold off opening it because I do go through it quite quickly. If you look at the brush, it's really, really good at separating the lashes and it's just a really, really natural look. If you want like fake lash look, it's probably not the one for you, but for an everyday one, honestly, I, I just can't see past it. Taking the clips out is always my favourite bit and just seeing how the curls are. They've gone quite well today. It's always a bit hit and miss with me. I have managed to get ready in half an hour, so I've done quite well. Before I brush it out too much, I think I'll just add some gloss spray. This is a new one. It's a John Frieda. I found it in my drawer. I don't ever remember buying it, but in fact, I'm going to go for a side parting today. I haven't had a side parting in ages. We'll see how it goes. My hair down it's a bit bumpy at the top but never mind we'll work with it i'm gonna put on a lip balm i wasn't going to obviously because i'm getting my lips done but my ugh, they just feel really really dry i've got two to choose from i love tinted lip balms so i have quite a big collection but the two that are nearest me today are charlotte tilbury it's a kind of i don't know rosy nude color and then a chanel pink one i think i'm gonna go with the chanel I'm honestly a sucker for anything in a nice package. And Chanel, everything is always so pretty. You can see it's just a really, really subtle colour, nothing over the top. So it's perfect for a day like today. Going for the Gucci Flora perfume today, one of my favourites. It is the Jasmine. It's like a gorgeous Jasmine. Anything with Jasmine, I love. I actually love all of the Gucci perfumes. I've got five or six and I absolutely swear by them. I always put some on the back of my neck and I always put some on my ankles. I can't remember where I learnt that trick. But it was years ago and I can't even remember who told me, but apparently if you spray it on your ankles, it kind of comes up your body during the day. So there we go. I've put on a super cozy outfit because it is absolutely freezing here and pretty sure it's still pouring with rain. So wrapped up warm and I'm going super early to my appointment because I'm a bit of a baby. I find my lips to be quite sore when I get them done. So I go like 20 minutes early and sit with the numbing cream on. I'm just gonna take my Kindle and read my book. And I find that if I do that, then it's fine. Um, so I just need to let the numbing cream set in and I'm all good. So let me know if you want to see the final results of my lips. They'll be all swollen tonight, but in a few days I should get the final results and I can't wait.